Roast! Uh, it's great to be here roasting the annoying kid from the Polar Express. Uh, <laughs> Eric, Eric actually uh, met, his, he's dating a Jewish woman. They met on the brown line. Uh, she was a total stranger, and he just manned up and introduced himself to her and asked her out. If you ask me, that is the worst thing to ever happen to a Jew on the train. <laughs> Well, I guess it's nice to be roasting the conductor that tried to keep the black kid off the Polar Express. <laughs> that didn't make the animated cut, but it happened. Uh, this is Max So Rich, guys. Middle name, uh, Max, his dad is so rich, he doesn't have to work for a living. And no, sending out applications to Love Island is not work. <laughs> True, if need be, I could pull a few strings. Uh, the only string Eric pulls is his girlfriend's tampon when he wants a snack. <laughs> I, uh, honestly, I really hope Eric wins this. He's been doing comedy three times as long as me. He needs this a little more than I do. If I... <laughs> if I lose, it'll just light a fire in my belly. But if Eric loses, it'll light a fire in the chamber of the handgun he puts in his mouth. <laughs> Look into your future, bitch. You need it as bad as I do. It's coming. All right, so this is true. Max's uh, dad works with special needs kids, and his mom works in entertainment. So maybe they could put their heads together and get this fucking retard a career. <laughs> Eric is, uh, Eric's the kind of guy who will say that the book was way better than the movie. <laughs> Max would too if he could fucking read. <laughs> You'd like movies if no one made fun of you for reading books alone. I fucked that up so bad. <laughs> oh, whatever. oh, it hit a glitch, so this is probably a good time. This joke is not really for Max. This is for the two or three aliens piloting the human suit. Uh, <laughs> it's the eyes. They don't look real. <laughs> They have to blink sometimes. We can all tell. Uh, Eric's been going to the gym recently. Uh, he's actually, he's been doing this thing where he wears ankle weights. We just, we all call them socks. Uh, his favorite exercise is actually the wait in line to complain to his alderman about refugees. <laughs> Oh, it looks like you're stealing their jackets. Uh, I think there's a reason God blessed Max with uh, such good looks, you know? I guess the good Lord figured if it was gonna be the last thing those poor black churchgoers ever saw, it might as well be easy on the eyes. That was the dark one, folks, that was good. Eric's a, Eric's a real the pen is mightier than the sword kind of guy. Um, what, he does, what no one's told him is that no one fucking likes hanging out with the pen. The pen will corner you at parties and complain about how fast the vaccine got rolled out. Hey, Max would like the pen if he could fucking write. All right. Uh, so Max recently contracted uh, herpes. Well, yeah, he's trying to track down the, uh, the girl that gave it to him. And so is her family. Maxwell, please, they want closure. Where's the body? God, dude. So, you know Eric doesn't have uh, herpes because herpes requires having sex without a condom. Uh, yeah, with garbage can whores, you animal. Uh, Eric, uh, Eric kind of looks like Clark Kent, you know, just the face, but he kind of looks like Clark Kent. He's actually, he is wearing a suit underneath his clothes, except it's not embroidered with one S, it's embroidered with two S's on the lapel. That would have looked better, been better if you didn't look so much more Nazi-y than me. Dude, we both look like Nazis, you just look like the accountant. <laughs> And you're blowing all our fucking money because you love killing Jews so much. <laughs> hey, in high school, Max was both a wrestler and a water polo player. 
So if you're wondering why you look so fit, it's from pushing the gay urges down for so long. It looks like you tried to suck dick in the locker room and it got you in both eyes. <laughs> Erica, <laughs> Eric definitely eats pussy like he's punching in a, a cheat code to a video game. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Did you come? No, no this thing's fucking broken anyway. <laughs> The difference between me and Max is that I look like I eat pussy, so that's... You look like a pussy. <laughs> How long you been sitting on that gym? That's... How long you been sitting on that guy, Jim? Hey, Max is, uh, he's kind of a big dude. He looks like the guy who could really destroy pussy, you know? And probably the rest of the body and the clothes and anything else that had his DNA on it. Eric, uh, Eric definitely, this is the seventh joke, right? Eric definitely, definitely does not like spicy food. Uh, the only pepper he touches is the pepper spray on his keychain when he walks by a black person. <laughs> Oh, as I said, Max has uh, contracted the herpes virus. <laughs> when asked for a comment, herpes said, yeah, this is a real low for me. I can do better. All right, that's a battle. That's a fucking battle. Give it up for both these guys before we even go to the panel. That is how this fucking does. start there with Zach Albers, who's going to finish his vote by tomorrow, I assume. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now, first of all, I want to say, God damn, that was the first one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all give it up for Abercrombie and bitch. <laughs> now, hey. Now, let's decide who the bitch is. <laughs> But I, I'm going to give that one to Max. All right, we got one for Max. One for Max. One for Max. Here we go. Mr. Joe Madoff. I'm going to go with Joe Madoff. Hey, what's up? Uh, I, uh, you both called each other racist Nazis. Uh, <laughs> that was great. It's also very funny because this, uh, this entire panel is compromised of a Jew and, I think, black people. Uh, <laughs> The closest we could find or something? I don't know. Zach, Zach, and you've been over this before. That doesn't mean you can say it. That doesn't mean you can say it. <laughs> no, not, not All right, I'm going to cut him off right quick. Home. Home. <laughs> before he says it, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, I got to say, what a battle. What a beginning. You both came out swinging. Um, you're both really Polar Express and the, the conductor. You had train jokes that went off each other. Uh, a tampon joke that went off what he said, like as a snack. Eric, I'm gonna be thinking about the phrase garbage can whores for the rest of my life. Hey, so is Max. <laughs> um, but honestly, uh, Pound, this was a great battle. You're both incredibly funny guys. I think, um, I just think, I think uh, ankle weights did it in for me. I'm gonna have to give it to Max. All right, there we go. Two for Max. I wanna hear from Oval though. Oval, wrap me up. Bang, motherfucking bang. Uh, first of all, if you got a sexually transmitted disease, that's okay. Okay. It be like that sometimes, big dog. I, gotta, <laughs> I don't. a mumble way to say it. Oh, <laughs> my bad. If you so have a sexually transmitted disease, that's okay. Sure I don't, sure but I know people that do. I'm uh I'm looking at my stats right now. What's that say? Oh, water water polo. You cut your nails? Yeah. In the points? No. Like, no. So I wouldn't hurt people. 
Oh. We, we come from different backgrounds. This so you <laughs> have... Wait a minute. So you have a sexually transmitted disease, but you don't cut your nails. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> My vote was for you. And I'm going to keep it for you, big dog. Bang, bang. Hey, hell of a performance. Give it up for both these guys. Give it up for yeah. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.